data engineers do nothing 2025 and 2026 is going to be a very good year for data engineering opportunity and last five to six years people talks about ai a lot and that's where all these data opportunities are getting created a lot and myself gautam i work as a data engineer i do have almost 10 years of experience so in this video, I'm not going to cover about what is roadmap of data engineering or what is data engineering. I'm just going to explain how demanding skill the data engineering is all about. And especially this video is completely for freshers, right? So when I go and ask fresher, what do you think about data engineering and what they really do? If I just raise this question to a fresher and he says, or he or she says, it's all about they store the data in the database and then they run some select query with the join to retrieve it. So we do more than that, and that's the agenda of this video, right? So when you, when I say what all the demanding technologies, when I ask this question to you, you may probably think about full stack development, and you probably may think about AI, right? So these two tech stacks are like you get a visual feel actually. So when when we talk about full stack and uh, people who used to think uh, really full stack is just deals with front end, I can say RIP for your mindset. So full stack is more than what some people imagine it's not just about html and css right so okay that's fine so this full stack is something that you really having a visual feel when you see sites like uh, instagram facebook or whatsapp and you can able to relate it okay i'm also going to develop such thing and when you take ai right you are seeing chat gpt or any other ai websites or uh, gemini copilot and you can still able to visually imagine See, okay, this is how it is going to be when I develop an AI or you just see some robots, right? So you are, you are just having that visual representation of integrating robotics with AI and, and all these things make your mind to feel that, okay, this is the two demanding technologies in market. Even some of the training institutes in the market, right? Even in their marketing, you know, I recently watched a YouTube video. It's an advertisement of a training institute where a guy comes to a center of the road and he gets four direction. That means four options to choose as a fresher. So he get full stack in the back and AI in the full stack in the front, AI in the back, and then left side, some data science and right side has some cloud DevOps, but I don't see data engineering. So that's why I call it as data engineering is a hidden gem. We do have a lot of opportunities with less competition compared to any other demanding tech stack that you think they are demanded, right? Fine. So if you take, when I talk about competitions, right? Before we talk about competition, let me talk about challenges what a fresher used to face, right? So what challenges that you face, it's all about experience. People are asked about experience. And either you take full stack or AI, or even you take data engineering, right? That is going to be a challenge. That's still going to exist. But the second challenge what we do have is more competition. When you compare to this full stack and this AI, right? For especially for fresher, right? The competition is very less when we enter into data engineering. Okay, I'm a data engineer and you just talk about data engineering stuff, but you are very biased. No, I'm not like that. This is not a paid course that what you are watching in the YouTube, right? It's a free video. Right, I'm, I'm not biased. Every tech stack is very important. So I, as a data engineer, I cannot go to my mom as an end user of Netflix. I'm not going to ask her, if you want to see a web series, just go to Netflix and just type select star from table name where series equal to give the name. I cannot tell her because I need UI. Definitely I need it. And nowadays most of the people in real time, they use chat GPT and other large language model as like a search engines, right? So everything is important. All tech stacks are important. They are highly demanded. I still say they are highly demanded at market, but with more competition. And especially recent survey says full stack development demand and supply got crashed. And that means initially we had more demand, less supply. When I say supply, resource persons, like jobs. But we have less demand now because we got more engineers to it. Right? And that's where like demand and supply got, got crashed. You can even search uh, about full stack demand supply crash at Google. You will get lots and lots of articles. Right. Okay. That's not our point to talk here. It's about data engineering. I call it a second engine because many people are not getting exposed to this particular role in the real time. You just go to Google, LinkedIn, do your own research. Just go to LinkedIn job, search for data engineering. You will get lots and lots of job openings. And the salary, what they get is more than what a full stack developer get and equal to what an AI engineer get. Right? And that's where the demand speaks. And how evergreen it is going to be, it's already evergreen of the, for the last 10 years and still it is going to be evergreen for some more years as well. 
And as a fresher, I can start with this. And then maybe later you can move on to AI or anything. But data engineering is silently moving into picture in the market and people should make use of it. Right, so everything is important because I'm not here to talk something biased. So data engineering is one such role, please do consider. So I'm just going to tell you one important thing, what I'm going to do, what I'm really doing in the real time. It's not like when you just give some data and then I'm store it and then do a select query, I'm retrieving it. No, I'm doing more than that. That's what I'm gonna tell you. I have some list of tasks that which I do in my day-to-day -day life and I have done in the almost 10 years and more than what I haven't done is also there in the list. Right, I'm going to tell you those lists. Here, it's in my laptop. I'm just going to read and tell it to you because it's not in my mind because that many tasks I'm gonna tell you. So after I'm completing the list of tasks, don't get panic because those are not something one data engineer gonna do everything. It's not like that, right? So it's like a different team. You may get a chance of working such tasks as well. See, skill is different than task, right? For example, you learn Python and with that knowledge, you can able to develop a website also in Python and you can write a data science AI code also, right? And then you can do data analytics as well, right? So here skill is same, but the tasks are different, right? That's what I come to say. Even I have a video, a complete playlist of big data engineering, 30 hours of videos is there in my channel. You can find, you can find a playlist link in the description box of this video. So that is something after you learn, you are ready to become a data engineer, but then the tasks will get this, right? Let me tell you all the tasks, what I do. See, basically where we are actually sitting, you know, we are actually giving power or if it's one among the power, that powers the other power, it's like inception, right? So when the front end, you go to amazon.com, you place an order. So that data has to come to a database for the storage. Of course, without database, just with front end, you can't do anything, right? It comes to me and I just store, I just process your transaction, whether your transaction is succeeded or not, right? I have, I'll be doing all the ETL jobs. When I say ETL, extract, transform, load, it's a core mantra for any data engineers you go. It's a core part of me doing it. Extract the data from the source. A source could be website or a file or a directory. I do the processing. A processing could be in SQL or coding, anything it could be, right? I'll be retrieving it and then I'll be loading the final output. For example, you place an order and you did the transaction in Amazon website. Now I retrieve it and then I'll come to know what product you bought and then whether you, your transaction is being completed from the bank side or not. I do all this in SQL or any coding language and finally I load it to a table saying that this transaction is successful. Now the UI will read that and it shows you your order has been placed. And as a data engineer, don't think that we work only on SQL. We work more than three plus programming languages, especially if you take myself, I worked in four languages, Java, Python, Scala and Go language. So. We used to work on both and every data engineer is a mini software engineer. Every data engineer is a mini data analyst, you know, every data engineer is a mini data scientist, you know, so that is where the data engineers are. And now when you take this AI, so for AI, what you have to do, you have to train, you have to build a model and for the model, you have to train. For training, you need a data. Now imagine AI is a school kid and this model is a teacher, right? And teacher needs a data to teach them. And that's when the teacher gets the data from the books. And that books, which has data in an organized way. And data engineer, I'm a data engineer who is going to create that book, going to print that book for the teachers. You know, we need, we will be giving the organized data to them. Now, let me give you all the tasks, whatever we will be doing in the real time. So I'm just going to tell some of the tasks in a very fast way. Okay. So I'll be, I'm not going to explain each and every task in this video. Maybe I'll be making a separate one minute video as a short where I'll be explaining each of this. Okay. So let, let me start with the task, what we do with the real time. Building robust data pipelines, data migration, handling historical data loads, ensuring data integrity, data partitioning, real time data analysis, bad versus streaming data, ensure data security, version control for data, cost optimization, handling schema changes, collaborating with the data scientists, collaborating with AI people, and handling distributed system, data lineage, data deduplication, schema evaluation, data cataloging, orchestrating complex workflows, and then building modern data lakes, modern data lake house, building future data products, building gen AI data products, migrating data to cloud, multi-cloud data management, ensuring item potential in the data, building OLAP cubes, metadata management, supporting multi-tenant architecture, capacity management, and I do have so many other stuff. Still, I have 40 more things to say. So these are something, as I already told you, I, I, I just, I'm not telling you by saying all this task. It's like not a one data engineer going to do everything. Okay. So it's like, depends on the team where we, where you go, you may get the task, something like this. It's all like a skill, what you have, you can able to do any of these tasks. 
But what people used to think, our only task is read the data, store it in the database, retrieve it. That's what people are thinking. Okay. So in data engineering, you have two types, traditional data engineering and modern data engineering. In modern data engineering, where this big data cloud all comes into picture. So this is the place where you have to concentrate. Okay. So thanks for watching. And I hope really you enjoyed this video. If so, please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. I do have a lot of videos in my channel. Go and have a look. And my Instagram page is the data tech. Please do follow me there as well. Thanks for watching.